Hello, hello, Virgo, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is September 9th, and we're going to find any messages of where are you? <laughs> where are you in life, love, and money? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forth any messages that want to come through for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, that's an entrance. <laughs> and I have one here. So you know what? We can do this. Virgo, you begin the reading with the five of wands. Listen, for some of you, this is feeling lost and defeated. This is feeling like if you, you know, could have had a fight with somebody. This is also, this is a lot of arguing. This is a lot of going back and forth. This is also more than two people. Um, this is also five of wands, arguments, criticizing, having, you know, some of you are feeling defenseless in all this and you really shouldn't. You also have here art, which is temperance. Okay. So it looks like in the recent past, you decided there was something that you had to do in order to gain some balance in your life. This is also having the patience. Listen. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. All right. You also have here the two of pentacles. With the two of pentacles, listen, a decision needs to be made. Some of you are not making a decision that needs to be made. And I'm going to tell you already. I don't know what this, what this five of wands is doing here, but we're about to find out. Why is the five of wands here for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is problems. This is arguments. This is feeling defeated. This is the fives. When you're in the fives, you're not in a good place. Just want to let you know. Listen, whatever the situation is, it has to do with the teacher. The teacher is an emperor, okay? In this particular card, it, it in this particular deck, it is an emperor. And um, basically, I feel that for some of you, you are dealing with someone who is very powerful. If this is not you who's the powerful person, I hope you are the powerful person. But I see here, um, you know, somebody placing orders and boundaries and just saying, you know, this is the way things need to be. You know, he's the, he's the person, he, she, in this deck, it's a she, but it's, in the regular decks, it's mostly a he, but it's nice to see when the emperor comes up as a woman. Um, listen, gender here in Speak Life does not matter. It could be either or, male or female. Why is the emperor here? I think you had a problem with this person. This is a lot of problems with this powerful person. Why is the emperor here? Okay, there's a couple cards here that are turned. I'm not taking those because I, I didn't see those turn at all. Why, why is the teacher here? Oh, Lordy. Teacher. Wow. Okay. Um, King of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Um, and the Magician. Listen, what I said, um, this has to do with more than two people. Literally, I got two kings here and one queen some of you ladies, some of you ladies, loving, caring, intuitive, okay? But there is two men here. Keep in mind that the gender here does not matter. It is just the energy that is coming through, okay? Two males, two males, two kings. One is very lovable, loving, nurturing, and everything else. And the other one seems to be more about the money. So you have one. You know, don't you ever wish that you can roll two men into one? I think that would be great if we had the opportunity to do that. You know, I'm sure the same, the men, men say the same thing, you know? So don't kill the fucking messenger. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to tell you, there is a potential power couple here. And it's funny because I got this yesterday in one of the other readings, a potential power couple. I don't know. Some of you ladies, some of you ladies may be torn between two men. Some of you men may be between, torn between two ladies. Why is the magician here? Magician. Ten of cups. Listen, some of you are manifesting some big time love. 
this is a lot of love. This is a lot of understanding. This is, this is a lot of, this is, listen, 10 of cups is the husband, the wife, the children, the pets, and at least one or two cars. Like, come on, you got to have at least one or two. Um, some of you, that's what you're looking for. Total happiness in your life. You're working hard at something. Listen, I'm going to tell you, some of you ladies, some of you, or men, I'm sorry when I say ladies, but it's the energy that comes through. Um, I also see here, somebody has been working extremely hard with the eight of pentacles. Somebody has been working to get something done. I feel that this, like I said, it, this is a third party situation. Here comes the lovers. Okay, so for me, this is something that is forbidden that really shouldn't be. I take that as the lovers. If, if, for me, pure love is not the lovers. For me, pure love is the two of cups. And you have here the lovers, which is, um, you know, something that's temptatious, something that is, you know, comes to you, but it comes to you with a little snake that you potentially don't see until that motherfucker grows up, okay? All right, so here you have the justice, okay? I'm going to tell you, some of you are going to be stuck in a legal battle over this third party, Okay, whatever the equation is, whatever the equation is, some of you are going to be stuck in a divorce court or some kind of justice in the legal department. Listen, for some of you, if you were not the person who was part of that third party, like if you were the innocent person, I'm going to tell you right now, some of you were treated unfairly. Whoever was put, you know, secretly into a third party, okay, they were treated unjust. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes the scales come in to balance out the situation, okay? This can also be a legal case. Like I said, it could also be a divorce. Um, but like I said, I pick up immediately. I picked up a power couple over here, you know? And these people, I don't know. These people may potentially love each other. However, like I said, I see a lot of people here. You know, listen, this could also be family, but when the lovers comes up, you know... I guess for some of you, you know, you'll take it the way you, you feel fit. Why is the justice here? Please, universal energies. Why is the justice here for Virgo? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Why? Listen, you're dealing with somebody who's... I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people here. I just got the night... The Knight of Cups, somebody wanting to bring a message of love to you. Somebody wanting to maybe bring you something very small. Please ignore that. That's my baby pig. She's looking for food and it's too early. <laughs> you also have here the queen. Queen of, of swords. Listen, this is a person who made a decision. You have here an immature energy. I'm going to be honest with you. You have here two kings and two queens. Take it as it fits, because I'm telling you right now, I just feel I'm picking up. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Listen, follow your intuition. I love this high priestess. Look at this. Love, love, love the high priestess in this card. Okay, she is intuitive. Okay, some of you, listen, are intuitive. You know what the hell's going on. You know. This, listen, this is going to take strength. Okay, with the nine of wands, a lot of strength. Why is the queen and the king here? Let me see one card for why are there so many queens and kings in this reading. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. One more, last card. Why is, why are there so many here? Hermit, healing. Queen of wands, listen. Definitely another person in this reading. I got another queen here, queen of wands, and then I got the hermit. Listen, some of you need to get your butts off into the tunnel, and you need to go and relax, and you need to go and reflect in solitude about the things that you want to do. Clearly, this is, listen, I'm telling you. Remember when I said, look at this, this is the five of wands, and literally, I have five people in this reading. So take it as it fits if this resonates with you. But however, like I said, I just see something here. It could be a potential legal case or divorce. And I'm going to tell you, for some of you, like I said, you're looking balanced. A decision has been made or a decision is going to be made. I'm just going to tell you that if you are in this fuckery, 
It is time to take your journal and go into a cave and heal the shit out of yourself. Okay, I hope that this brought you some kind of clarity for today and enjoy your Wednesday.